Hi all, welcome in next video for Azure AZ900 certification. Okay, so in a last video, like I already have told, what are the prerequisites and what are the requirements before like uh, going ahead for scheduling the exam. Okay, so in the last video, I show you how you can schedule the exam and how you can like what how you can claim your uh, free coupon code and all the things okay so you haven't if you haven't seen last video so you can go ahead and firstly watch the last video then i will be further discussing here what i did for this uh, examination okay and now uh, i just uh, just now i just passed part this but uh, azure agent 900 examination so i will tell you more about it So, <clears throat> okay, so as I shown you earlier, we get this type of email once we schedule the examination successfully with uh, like uh, with Microsoft uh, uh, certification uh, site. Okay, so if we successfully schedule examination using Pearson View, so we get this kind of emails and in one of email you will be getting your confirmation and schedule okay so you need to log in in <coughs> like i had exam at 4 45 pm okay so i need to uh, log in earlier uh, 90 uh, 30 minutes before okay so that they can uh, do the proper check-ins they can verify your workspace and they can verify your identity all the things okay <coughs> So what further you need to do like once you get this type of email so before going ahead for the check-in firstly you need to check your system okay so once you clicking in this test your system this type of uh, access uh, on view uh, portal will be opening i'm opening again so that you can see properly okay this type of okay so just copy this code and further you need to download on view latest version if you have already downloaded it so you still you need to verify whether you have a latest one or not so just download it so once you download it so this is this one is the latest version so click here Uh, so actually I already have completed so I will not doing all the things but I am just showing you like how the how the steps get started okay so that you can confidently go ahead and so you need to put the uh, concrete access code here put on the next so for that it will be verifying your uh, mic okay so start mic testing hello 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 so it just need to you you know loud your voice and it will automatically completed you need to uh, here are some words and you need to make it completed okay it's completed check it in webcam so just uh, show your face and the webcam will get completed automatically okay so uh, going next so it will uh, doing the system diagnostic okay so before that uh, you need to make sure like you have at least two mbps of speed okay for the, your internet connection if your speed is less than two mbps this diagnostic will not be completed okay the last time when i firstly scheduled the exam i was not aware about this and i just scheduled and i just like checked in to the exam uh, like before verifying anything so i tried it multiple times more than 10 times and continuously it was getting failed then i like go go ahead i check the issues what is getting failed in network connections so i found that um my internet speed was not uh, even 1 mbps okay it was 0 0.8 0 0.9 mbps since i was just using my mobile i i, I had a uh, broadband connection but i was working from home so i just scheduled the exam and i tried to uh, give that exam from my home itself okay so i thought like it it would be just um, uh, online test based kind of so it will be allowing me to give the exam if even if i have 1 mbps of speed but later on i found like no at least you should have a 2 mbps speed 2 to 10 mbps speed at least you should have okay so please make sure like you have a sufficient uh, strength of bandwidth so that you can go ahead and 
uh, give the exam otherwise when you uh, like come to this point and you are uh, like going for the check-in and your net speed is not enough so it will directly not allow you to enter the exam okay so last time i had faced that issue so please make sure you are not facing this type of issue okay so just go ahead and do next so it will download the system test file so it is nothing just a test file okay so that the on uh, uh, actually the exam gets open in a single window okay so that the uh, this on view system can be opened on a single window okay so um, it's a emulation based a simulation based system so once you clicking on the next so all the below icon and all the controls have been uh, like put behind of the screen the main screen exam screen will be popped up and that will be your uh, primary screen here okay so just showing you one okay so I'm, I'm just showing you how the simulation work okay so so that you can show and the same type of things happens when you uh, go ahead for the examination okay just Okay, so something is failed. Okay, so this type of message gets appeared once you complete that. So basically what happened in that simulation, like you, the window will get open, you will be having one uh, simple questions. It will be a kind of like you like Azure, you like Microsoft, okay, kind of. So you need to uh, give yes or no kind of answers and you will be submitting that simulation answer and you will get that your system verification is completed okay so just close this window uh, and what you will be getting in like when you are going for the exam so what you need to be prepared for that you should have one um, id id proof okay that could be uh, your passport that could be your other card that could be your driving license and make sure like in the id card the your face at least your latest pick is there okay so that they can verify so once you will be successfully checked in for the exam so one of uh, your uh, you can the examiner will uh, contact you okay he will be contacting you by call by chatting so on view providing them uh, access for your webcam okay so they can see your webcam speed you they can see your uh, system screen okay and uh, they will be uh, continuously chatting you in a uh, chat window okay so so firstly like I, I one of member called me and they like asked me like um, what is your uh, like workspace and how what is your left what is your right so basically what you need to do like when we are going to check in so you will be getting a link in your uh, either you can like uh, you get a three options whether you can scan that um, QR code and get a link you can uh, get that link in your mobile phone by giving the number and you have a third option you can download the on view application in your mobile okay so what you need to do in that further uh, link with that link so you will be like once you get in into the on view uh, mobile application you can also use a web based application it's not needed always to download that from play store okay so once you um, logged in into that system so with means that valid url that they given so that is actually valid for once only okay if you resetting that or resending that so the older one will get disabled and once you verify all your details like they will be asking you to click your photo they will be asking you to uh, click your systems table photo you they will be asking you to click up front system front uh, photo system back photo system left photo system right photo so that they can verify like nothing is uh, interrupting or nothing is suspicious around the system to like for the cheating and other things okay so all once you click all the photo and submit then you would be able to uh, continue in your on view this uh, check-in process okay and once you check in pro uh, properly in on view system 
one of a uh, member from microsoft uh, like examiner team will be contacting you uh, first you will be kept on a queue and for one two or three after one or two three minutes you will be contacted by one examiner and he will be asked he or she will be asking you some questions like so your right uh, space left space back and front if you using something like i was using uh, earphones okay so in in the examination as per their policy you cannot use the earphones you have to be communicated in a in a uh, speaker only okay and there should not be uh, many mobile phone or electronic devices around you okay so they will be verifying this thing once they will be verified they will be uh, telling you like go ahead um, and just keep enabled your webcam so that they can be uh, observing you continuously okay and once you start that so like you will be getting a 35 uh, 40 questions it based on your points like how much points of questions are coming like if big points question coming so quantity may vary from 30 to 40 okay so you will get 30 45 uh, questions and you will be having 45 minutes of time so you can complete that in that time span okay so uh, and what i did is studied for this so basically i uh, contacted one uh, member he already have given the exam so he had uh, some dump of questions so he provided me that questions okay so i went through those questions and i tried to create uh, some assumptions like to what uh, some uh, more kind of questions can come and before that i also had used degree and udemy uh, video for preparing this examination okay so uh, right now I, I don't have that thing handy so I will be uh, keeping that URLs in uh, in um, description. Okay, so um, I will keep those the uh, like URLs in assist, uh, in a description. Okay, so if you need it, like uh, you need to go through the videos, so you can go through that. But I would suggest you like uh, please uh, uh, at least clear your basics and then uh, like go for the dumps, the dump questions. Okay. And uh, and all one all of the questions like coming so the same kind of questions and all are most most of the questions are coming from the dumb dumb question like earlier examinations okay so you can get that confident when you are reading that dumb questions so prepare for that questions try to uh, cover most of the questions through the dumps uh, and you will be surely like uh, clarifying this uh, examination after giving the like. Uh, after watching the AJ900 videos, Delphi videos, and after was was watch, watch, like going through the dumps, and after like doing some um, online like practice te tests, if you you required, you can also give that. Okay, so you will get the confidence and you will clear the examination. Okay, so dump is actually I ho I know you you will be having some um, doubt how can I get that. So uh, in a Facebook in a a telegram group you can just find that age azure is at 900 dump okay dump questions so you will be getting some pupils like they are providing the dump questions okay so you will be getting those pdfs and you can go through that and you will be getting the same kind of questions from, for the examinations so do practice that all the questions try to find out the scenarios and based upon that you can give the examination okay i hope it will be giving giving you the some confidence I will be trying to uh, key, uh, like pull some more knowledge for that examination and trying to share with you. If you have any issue regarding the examination schedule, regarding the on view uh, experience, regarding the um, Microsoft uh, examiner's questions and uh, their behaviors, okay, regarding the dumps, regarding the URLs for the degree, uh, like degree URL, Udemy URL, so I will be providing those things. But if you have a question, you can like uh, give me the questions or you can ping me in a telegram. You can send me the email. I will assure you trying to answer the questions. Okay. So thank you so much for the watching and wish you all the best for examination if you're preparing. I was preparing uh, this examination since so long. So I tried to uh, complete this examination last week only, but I told you like I faced my internet issue and due to that this exam was like cancelled it was not cancelled but it was failed you can see i attempt i tried to attempt it but due to a diagnostic a diagnosis fail it was not allowing me to connect to the examination okay
no worry this time i have completed so it's good okay so wish you all the best for your exam exam preparations okay and let me know if you need any support or any help okay i'm there in, uh, in gmail i'm there in a telegram so you can contact me there or you can put the comment i will be surely surely answering your questions okay thank you so much for watching see you on the next video